Here we bring you round two of our GTX 480 review, the test system scores and conclusion. Hello again everybody, welcome to part two of our new GTX 480 series of reviews. Today we're going to show you our test platform and the benchmarks of this new card against its competitors. Okay, so a lot of people wonder what we use in our test setup, and so today we're going to show you. Um, what we have over here is we have the ASUS P6X58D Premium Motherboard. We've also got 24 gigabytes of DDR3 from Kingston in dual 12 gigabyte kits. So these are triple channel memory here, 24 gigabytes by Kingston. We also have the Thermaltake Spin Q. This is a very nice cooler. This is controlling our CPU. We have the i7-980 Extreme as our CPU. It's overclocked. We also have the new NVIDIA GTX 480. We also got two Western Digital WD740 drives running in RAID 0 for maximum performance. Okay, so the numbers are in. Did NVIDIA deliver as they promised? Yes, they did. They now have a fully functioning DirectX 11 card that does beat the 58.7 if only by a small margin. This would have been a giant victory for NVIDIA if this had come six months earlier. As it is right now, I don't mean to piss NVIDIA off or the NVIDIA fanboys, but at this point in the game, they've really played catch up. Now, maybe in their next series of cards, they'll totally come out and kick butt. But at this point right now, they just barely got and played catch up. It's a great job from NVIDIA. Congratulations to you guys. You guys are totally in the game. But we're going to have to see the card that comes out next round and see what it does. Some of the new great things about this card, as we mentioned earlier, though, is the ability for multi-monitors. The only drawback between that and the ATI card is with an ATI card, you only need to use a single card. With the new cards from these guys, oops, you got to use two cards in SLI mode. That's got to hurt. Hope it'll still post later. Um, the absolute really best feature about this new GTX 480 is its ability to handle tessellation. This it does better than any other card on the market. And that does make it a good thing for gamers. So for those people who love NVIDIA, love their products, and fly by that flag, this card is for you, and we salute you out there. NVIDIA, thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to review this card. We appreciate it. And overall, I got to say, I give this card a hot product because those people who prefer NVIDIA over ATI, your day has come.